Being a self-taught graphic designer can be so frustrating, especially when you are starting out. And if you are a design beginner, probably you have gone through YouTube, you have gone through many places searching for resources to help yourself get started. Most times you come across YouTube videos that you keep watching and watching, especially tutorials, you watch them and you don't seem to understand what is going on. And even if you understand, you notice that later on you forget everything you've learned. A subscriber asked me this question. I'm a great fan of yours and I've watched 85% of your available tutorial designs online. I came into this field this year, which is 2022. I also had and got a laptop. I practice every day on your YouTube page online. But when I try creating my own designs, even to my own logo, I can't. I just sit back and watch the screen. I need guidelines, please. I'm just a beginner and this is what I will love doing. I have passion for it. This question sounds like the challenge many beginners have and this is why I made this video. So I'm going to give you 5 big advice on how to start design if you are a design beginner. So with that said, let's roll in the intro. Hello you guys, my name is Dennis, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and learning graphic design and understanding the business side of things looks like your interest, consider subscribing and turn on the bell so you get notified when we upload a new video just like this one. The very first advice I will give to you is to practice recreation. So you see, when you start graphic design, ideas do not just drop from nowhere and creativity drops from nowhere. It does not work that way. Personally, I'm a self-taught graphic designer and I've not gone to design school and knew nothing about design but came into the industry, found my success and here I am doing what I love doing. Even pro designers, many of them came into the industry without even knowing what they were doing but now they found success and this is how they found success. Many of them found success through recreation. So practice recreating designs. When you are first starting, you don't expect ideas or creativity to come into your head at once, okay? You have to practice recreation. Practice recreating other people's design. And really quick, I'm not saying you should copy anyone's design. Practice how to design like them. So what you have to do is follow up pro designers, you know, maybe on Instagram or YouTube or anywhere you can find them. Follow them and watch what they do and try to recreate what they do. And this is how I learned. Personally, I use YouTube to advance my skills as a graphic designer. I use Instagram to advance my skills as a graphic designer. So I use YouTube to watch tutorials and I use Instagram to follow pro designers, watch what they do and I try to recreate like them. And this was how I kept recreating and building my knowledge and got to where I am today. So the big advice is try recreating people's design. This is one experience I had when I started design. I found myself so interested at looking at designs I see on the street, maybe on the billboard or posters pasted on the streets. I, Whenever I'm walking on the road, I try to watch what is happening and when I get there, I grab the ideas and when I get to my screen, I try to recreate what I saw. Okay, so I don't just look at the design and place it side by side by my system and start recreating. Most times I just look at the design, study the design very well and then go to my screen, try to recreate the image I'm seeing in my brain. And I like you to do the same. Whenever you capture an image or you capture any design somewhere or anywhere, you can always recreate that image in your brain. Don't Keep the design side by side and start designing. Capture the design, allow the image to sink into your mind and your brain and recreate what's in your mind. Most times you'll be surprised that you recreate what is in your mind and even do more better than what you saw. And this was how I was able to build my creative mind. So the next one on my list is take one step at a time. I understand the fact that when many beginners get into the design industry, they always want to achieve success as fast as possible and it's not right. So beginners try to pick a variety of things and push up to them at the same time which is not 
always right. My advice is take one step at a time. You can't master everything at the same time, okay? Now, there is a popular saying that says a jack of all trade is a master of none. And it happens in the design industry when you try to master many things at the same time. So this is what happens when you watch tutorials like my tutorials on this YouTube channel and you see a lot of tips and tricks I share in each tutorial. Now, when I make YouTube tutorials, I don't just show you how to make the design, but I show you everything, every tip, every step and every trick I use in doing things around the design. So when you watch those tutorials what happens is that you want to learn everything at the same time but my advice is take it step by step you don't learn a variety of things at the same time you can pick up one tutorial study it learn it master it before you move to the next one but i see a lot of beginners go to youtube and when they get to youtube they watch a particular tutorial download it to their phone and they move over to another youtube channel and get another tutorial, download it to their phone, move over to another video, download it to their phone and you observe that each time they watch all these tutorials, they understand nothing, okay? So when you pick one thing, learn one thing, master it, then you can move to the other. So this is the process I did for myself. I set time for everything. I set goals I wanted to achieve, okay? When I set my goals, I achieve one goal at a time so if i want to master flyer designs first i watch videos around flyer designs and each one i watch i practice it till i'm perfect before i move to the next one so if i learn a particular trick today i must make sure i practice and apply the trick so don't just learn a trick when you learn a particular trick in design practice the trick and master it before you move to another trick you can't learn many tricks and master all the tricks at the same time so in general, learn one thing at a time. Take one step at a time. So next on my list is don't touch any client project yet. So many design beginners, when they get into the design industry, all they craft for is to get clients, okay? Is to get design projects doing and making money. But it's not the best. Now, value brings clients, okay? Value brings exposure. First of all, work on yourself. How valuable are you? Okay, how valuable are you? Make sure you are valuable enough to present yourself to a client, discuss a project with them, and when you give them your price, they are very, very okay with it because of the value you give. So, when you are starting out, you should not take any client project yet. Focus on working on yourself, okay? Focus on working on the things you know, focus on working on improving your skills focus on working on improving your creativity mind and by doing this you'll be valuable enough to present yourself to a client and by so doing you'll be able to charge high prices that will help you scale even up to a hundred or two hundred thousand monthly as a graphic designer a lot of design beginners fail in the process of campaigning for clients when they are not valuable enough yet where they have not improved their skill enough yet. So they campaign for clients to a point that they derail from improving their skills. And most times they get their clients angry and feel unsatisfied because they are not offering the value the clients expect. So to be on the safe side of not receiving embarrassment from clients, better update yourself, update your skills, upgrade before you start campaigning for clients the next one on my list is join a design community this has really helped me in my journey as a graphic designer so what you're going to do is when you pick up a tutorial and watch and you practice the tutorial and then you master it what you're going to do is to recreate the design and when you recreate the design or you recreate any design you see online what you're going to do Take it to your community, your design community you belong to, post it there and seek for reviews. And then pro designers you have in that community will help you review those designs and this was how I was able to grow, okay? I accept reviews and then most beginners are fond of not accepting reviews, okay? Or accepting critique, when people critique your design, even if they critique your design the wrong way, just accept it for the fact that you want to learn, okay? I've been a victim of this, that people critique my designs and when they do that, instead of getting angry 
I tried to understand their aspect and correct myself. And by so doing, this was how I was able to grow. So join a design community that will be hosting events and they will be taking you along in the design field and showing you what you need to know, okay? So that's perfect. And if you have no idea of where to find design communities, it's all over Facebook, it's all over Instagram, it's all over YouTube, okay? So you can choose any of these platforms you feel is okay for you and join a design community and the very last one on my list find a mentor okay so anything you want to do as a design beginner you need someone to be checking what you are doing you need someone you can always cling into you need someone you can always call at any time to help you out in difficult issues and this person is no other person than your mentor and for you to get a mentor and make your mentor to be okay with you and work with you, you need to submit yourself first. You need to learn to be submissive before you find a mentor. And when you get a mentor, you have to show value to your mentor and your mentor will be ready to do anything for you just to ensure that you upgrade yourself. So find a mentor and that will be a great advice. Comment down below if you have any advice you can give to design beginners who are starting out just like the ones I've done and I have not mentioned it so if you have any of those ideas comment down below thank you so much for watching this video and create amazing designs daily see you next time